The Toronto Blue Jays are in Boston today to face their division rivals with a chance to set the MLB wins record. Now this would not set the record for win percentage as there was a point in time where they used to play fewer games, but this would set a record for win total against former Blue Jay David Price, the front runner for the American League Cy Young Award this year, although he has struggled against the Blue Jays when they did play him. Travis Shaw up to bat in the second inning. Marcus Stroman on the mound for the Blue Jays, and that one is gone. Smoked over the wall. Travis Shaw with a solo shot. His 22nd home run of the year, I believe. 22nd or 23rd. And now this is going to be Dustin Pedroia up to bat, and V is going to take that one over the wall. And that is a slow, slow home run, but it is going to go over the wall nonetheless. And so it is a 2-0 lead. Oh, yeah, it's not Dustin Pedroia. That's a... Uh, I actually don't know who that is. I had Dustin Pedroia in my notes. But anyway, Chris Colabo up to, bat, um, up to bat in the top of the fifth. First real thing getting going all day for the Blue Jays as that is a ground rule double right there. And then Russell Martin up to bat next. And he is going to take that one high and deep. But it is not a home run. It's off the very top of the wall. It is going to score Colabello and get Martin sliding into second. Well, he probably could have made it standing to be completely honest. This is going to be Junior Lake up to bat as a 2-1 count and he is going to take that one out into left a single for him as the left-handed pitcher was on the mound so we did have him in the lineup today with i believe justin smoke resting and now devin travis is going to take that one out to left and drive in the runner from third base russell martin and that puts runners on first and second for the blue jays however they would not get anything after that the game is tied at two to two right now as this is christian vasquez with the single right there as, or Blake Swihart, excuse me. I knew he was the catcher, but I had the wrong, uh, the wrong catcher. There's too many of them. But that would bring up Jackie Bradley Jr., and he is going to take that one out into right. And Bautista, a combination of slow speed and the Fenway right field, is going to lead to an RBI triple for Jackie Bradley. And that puts the Red Sox back on top by one. And now it is going to be Xander Bogarts at bat, and he is going to ground out, but that does drive home. The runner from third, Jackie Bradley Jr. And so the Boston Red Sox pad their lead, or take the lead, and then get an extra run on top of it. And now it is going to be Jose Bautista taking a walk. And so we'll have a runner on first. Edwin Encarnacion with a 3-1 count is also going to take a walk. And that would be the end of David Price's day, walking two straight people as... Uh, um, I can't remember his name. Z Zunichi Tozawa comes up to bat. And Chris Colabello will walk in his at bat. And now Russell Martin trying to lay down a suicide bunt. He would not be successful in doing so, but it was a wild pitch. And so Bautista is going to score. And that gets one run back for the Blue Jays. As for some reason, when he ran home, it made me advance at Carnacion too. So pretty much ended any chance we had of scoring additional runs. And now, late in the game, this is going to be Ezekiel Carrera pinch hitting for Junior Lake, and that is going to be a bad play by Hanley Ramirez. Had to come back out too far, and it's going to put a runner on first late in the game here. Devin Travis is going to walk, so two runners on with one out in the ninth inning as Boston was in control for a while here, but now the Blue Jays are coming back. Another walk, and that is going to load the bases for Josh Donaldson with two outs. He's going to ground it. Hanley drops the ball, and he doesn't even try to throw it to first in time. Josh Donaldson would make it in, and that ties up the game. And then Chris Colabell in extra innings. 3-2 count, one out. It's high, it's deep, and it's gone. It gives the Blue Jays the lead, 5-4. And that is going to make it a Blue Jays in favor game as Roberto Ozuna would force a ground out with a runner on second base. And the Blue Jays have won their 117th game of the season, which is a major league record for win total. Not win percentage, but win total, as I believe it was the 1900 Chicago Cubs. I know it was, one of, it was a Chicago Cubs team in the 1900s, but I can't remember exactly which year when they played about 20 fewer games did win approximately 80% of their games, if I recall correctly. But the Blue Jays have the record for win total and that's going to do it for the regular season as they'd only have one more game after this and it wasn't really worth playing. I actually, I believe we won. And uh, we'll do a playoff preview and stat recap in the next episode before we get into the American League Division Series as obviously we were not a wild card team this year. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this regular season and we will see what the Blue Jays are capable of in the playoffs. So stay tuned for that.
stands our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Red Sox, four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 35 minutes. A reminder that extra green line trains will be available at the Kenmore stop. Or if you plan to use the D branch, use the Fenway stop. Rail service is available.